One way to use issue in your classroom is to publish student work. Um, this is a copy of the Creative Writing Magazine, the first one that I published um, for my students. Uh, this is the cover, and I'm actually going to take you to the issue document so that you can see what it looks like. So we're going to control click that. Now, when we bring up issue for the first time, if you're not logged in, oops. There we go. Um, <laughs> if you if you go to the first the first time if you're not logged in, it'll give you a content warning if you have said that it is not appropriate for younger kids. Now I have a content warning on this because we have some language um, in there, and I let my kids publish it. Um, but then when I published it to issue, I made sure that they did not that it did not say um, it was okay for kids under 18 to read. So um, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Go. All right, so this is a copy of our um, published magazine. So you can see this here. Um, this little button here is going to flip the page open. And so it looks like a magazine. If I made this big, I'm not sure if it'll go for the whole screen or if you'll still be able to see it. You can see most of it. Um, keep making it big, and I've got this magazine and it looks really neat and it's got all of these short stories and poems and all of this stuff in there um, if you got if you had more time and um, you weren't rushed at the end and not doing it yourself like I was um, if I had my students working on the actual publication of the magazine I would have had them add pictures and graphics and all kinds of fun things, but I didn't have time to do that. So what I wanted was just to get their work out there and publishable. You can see it's 109 pages. It doesn't matter how many pages this is. Unlike in a printed text where every page costs money, you can upload a thousand pages. It doesn't matter. It's all free. Um, and so this is a really great way to publish student work. Um, you can also find information uh, you can share it with other people. I'll show you a real quick share. Um, this is my link, and so I can Twitter it, Facebook it, Google Plus it, email it, um, or I can copy this link and send it to anyone that I want or publish it to my homepage. And so all of a sudden, this magazine is available for my students anywhere. And I put the URL up on the wall, and I also put one outside my classroom so that people could um, go to the magazine anytime that they wanted. If I was going to get really crafty, I might also add a QR code so that kids could get to it from their cell phones. And that's how you use Issue to publish.